finally, we want to ask you this last question, and it has to do with the ongoing ASUS. Yes. What are you doing to ensure that this whole ASUS strike comes to an end? We know you've made gains with uh, the health sector, which is your primary uh, original constituency. What are you doing? Nigerians want to see this strike come to an end. What are you doing to, to bring it to an end? I'm very happy you said uh, we did something in the health sector. You know, education and health are social services. And the workers there, from the doctor in health to the nurse, to the pharmacist, down to the man who is in the mortuary, as mortuary attendant, they are all health workers. Everybody is important. You go to education, the citadel of knowledge, universities. You have lecturers who are members of ASU. Then you have non-academic staff unions. You have senior staff uh, unions of universities. And you have even National uh, uh, Association of uh, Academic Technologies. They are all in one place, working together. And also have their rivalry. Now, the ASU matter, the diagnosis, we can just narrow it down to two major items now. The items that are on the table now, because the issue of end uh, academic allowances and uh, revitalization, the federal government has done what they are supposed to do in 2021. Because they pay 40 billion to the to ASU and other unions to go and share. ASU took 75% uh, of 40 billion, 30 billion. But that uh, unions, 10 billion. They were also protesting that 10 billion is too small. The government also gave them 22.27 billion, which was mainstreamed into the budget of 2021. They got all. The government also paid 30 billion as part of a revitalization. That revitalization is an old agreement entered into in 2013 when the Jonathanian government agreed to pay them 1.3 trillion for revitalization of the universities. This is apart from the third fund money, which is also used for revitalization of the tertiary institutions, universities, polytechnics, and even a college of education. Now, ASU is saying that the agreement makes for them to renegotiate their condition of service. And in this condition of service, you discuss their sabbatical, you discuss their leave of absence, you discuss most of uh, employment, and they also discuss salaries and wages. But when you hear them saying 2009 agreement, 2013 agreement, two things are involved. So their wages, their remuneration and condition of service on one plank and the revitalization fund they are talking of, of uh, 1.3 trillion, which we have renegotiated here and government is paying 220 billion in six tranches. That's the agreement. 220 billion in six tranches. So government is paying them as they do. Last year, they paid 30 billion. They will pay something again uh, uh, this year. So, that is not the major issue now. The major issue now is we want new salaries and wages. Is their, is their right? Okay. It mm -hmm. is their right. Dr. And I have also looked yeah. at their, their, their pay sleep. And I'm afraid we have to leave it there. So, so how they deserve a in, review. In, in one and sentence. People in the university sector also deserve a review. Uh, so in one sentence, how can so this end? The government has a process for doing a review of salary. And government also uh, uh, have a, a way of paying you. The second point is that they said we should be paid by university transparency solutions, not IPs, which government is using. And we supported them 
to the extent that that your solution be subjected to a, a, a leader test, information technology test. One I am you. not a technologist. When will the strike Neither end? Need, uh, their test gave them 90, 90, 93 percent or 98% in what is called user acceptance test. That is, is this minister? User when we have to go, when will the strike <laughs> end in one sentence? When will this strike end? User friendly and Scotland something. Then the issue of integrity and vulnerability to hacking. Senator, we have to go. Neither will be accepted. Thank you. So Thank you. The I should say that I should, I should first, I should first need that to give them a, a bill of health. I mean, we have to leave there. I'm a, I'm a Thank you so much, distinguished Senator Chris Ngige. We hope to come to Allah to celebrate with you. Allah to celebrate with you after the primaries. Yes. <laughs>